Oh yeah, folks, plenty of friends here. As you can see, in, right in front of you, I'm showing you my type setup. Uh, as you can see, I'm not gone far, very far today. I'm only in my back garden, as you can see. I'm not very far at all. But before we go into the type, as you can see there, I want to show you this. I recommend these pegs. Full stop. I'll take it out. Yeah, these pegs are fantastic. They got a little hole at the top there, so I'm going to be improving my type setup maybe today or tomorrow, or not today, or tomorrow, but next month. So it's going to be a good setup. So far, these work really well, but I'm going to be changing. I'm going to be upgrading my setup. Hopefully, maybe might do it this afternoon. It might do it in this video. I might not. So yeah. So that's the pegs I do highly recommend. As you can see, we've hardly had any rain until the ground's solid. Yeah, so I'll show you on top first. Hang on, give me a second. God, there you go, there's my top. It's not much. It's not an expensive one. It's not a DD, DD hammock top. Top one, and I can afford one of them. Crikey. This cost me about 28 quid. So I've just realised yesterday, I think it was, where I can spend, I could buy a DD hammock top for 35 but the difference is it's three times the weight so this is a nice lightweight top it's nice and waterproof nice ripstop material but yeah so that's my top but as you can see the ridge line here it's not actually straight if I show you that way see it's not actually straight that's only because I couldn't put it straight but yeah but as you look see there I've done the same as everybody else, I've done all this lot. Yeah, there's my ridge line going down. But the difference is I don't I haven't seen idly any many people do this. I've tried one of those I don't know what the knot is called, but it's coming undone, so you can tell it's been old. Yeah. Onto some bank line and into a clip. But then the clip clips into the top here. I can loosen it. As you can see the top's still gonna be tight because of the pegs. Yeah, so I've, um, I've, as you can see, that one's coming undone as well by those things. So it looks like we have to change all this, this, this cordage. And I clipped it into the loop ring. Yes, they are warm loops. They're not actually sewn into the actual, they're not actually attached to the fabric. I prefer it this way because my old one ripped. I had these loops, I had these little, I don't know what you call them, in here, and that just ripped out. Even though it was reinforced, it still ripped out, so. Yeah, and this one here is quite a nice little top actually. So yeah, I've done exactly the same thing to the pegs all the way around. I've actually attached the pegs to the top. So when you take the top down, the pegs come with it. But I am, as I said, I am going to be improving, upgrading this soon, where it won't be that way. This is the height I normally have it. <clears throat> it's not very high, but it gives you loads of room underneath and loads of shelter space. Let me, I'll just get on that. Mm. It's like oh, nice and cool under here. Oh. As you can see, it's big enough for me and it's big enough for a dopey dog to sit underneath as well as well as, our, as well as our stuff. But yeah, it is a good top. It is a good bit of kit. And my ridge line is made out of power cord. But everything else is um, bank line. But I am changing the bank line to back to power cord. Because the power cord to me seems a bit more better. They don't fly. So yeah. Tell so me what you think of the top guys. It's only a cheap one. This weighs my this top kit weighs I think it was 257, 267 grams. Don't ask me how much that ounce is, I'll put that in the description box for you guys. But yeah, if you think I can still peg this down here. If I really wanted to do that small. And I wanted to get out when it was raining that heavy, I can still peg it down on the sides. So, let me just turn you around now, guys. There we go. Please like, please share, please subscribe, and tell me what you think. Alright, guys. Let's say again. Please like, please share, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one, guys. And, um, I thought it, you know, Dopey Dog's doing really well after operation. So, yeah, that will be my next upcoming video. So, yeah. And um, if you want to email me, my email address will be in the description. 
and so would my Facebook page. Alright guys, thank you very much. See you soon. Bye.